Do you need help setting up live streams on OBS Studio? Stick around. I'll help you do it. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Janx, and in today's video, I'm gonna help you set up OBS Studio for your very first live stream. OBS Studio has lots of settings that could be a huge headache for somebody who's never used the program before. What I'm gonna do today is run you through setting up your OBS Studio, skipping all those headaches, and going straight to the fun part. If this video helps you out at all, do not forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. It helps my videos reach a larger audience and helps me grow on YouTube. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's show you how to do this. All right, to get started with OBS Studio, if you have not already, go to obsproject.com. The link is in the description below. Once you're at the website, go ahead and click the windows right here, and then your download will automatically start. Once your download is done, go ahead and open the file and then continue with the OBS Studio setup process. All right, once your OBS Studio is open to get started, we're gonna go ahead and go up to File and click Settings. Once your settings is open, go ahead and click on your Stream tab. On the service line, you guys are gonna select which platform you're streaming from, whether it be Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook. For this video, I'm gonna use my Twitch account and I'm gonna go ahead and click Connect Account and you will be prompted by Twitch or YouTube to put in your username and password. Once your account is connected, you can now click on Output. You want to go ahead and select Output Mode Advanced. Then on this drop-down box, you want to make sure that you have the new NVIDIA selected. And do not rescale your output. Make sure that's not checked. And then have your rate control set for CBR. That is a controlled bit rate. For your bitrate, you want to make sure that you're no higher than 5,500 for good internet and for bad internet, no lower than 2,000 kilobytes per second. Set your key interval to zero. Preset quality can be set anywhere between max quality and low latency, depending on how fast your computer is. Lower spec computers have lower latency performance and higher spec computers can have max quality. Set your profile to high, look ahead, not checked. Make sure that psycho visual tuning is checked. GPU zero, max B frame set at two. Then click apply. Next, we're gonna go to audio. On the audio page, we're gonna be concentrating here on your desktop audio and your microphone. Your desktop audio can be set on your default audio. That would be all the sound that is coming from your computer will be sent to OBS Studio. And then you select your microphone from the drop down box. Once you click apply, you'll see that it adds both your audio from your desktop and the audio from your microphone. And then finally, we're gonna click on video. Now your base canvas resolution is what your computer is at, you guys. If you do not know what your base resolution is, you can just go to your desktop, right click, go to display settings. And if you scroll down, you'll see that it has your display resolution right here. I'm at 1920 by 1080. Once you know that your canvas is set properly, you guys wanna set your output scaled resolution. If you guys are streaming on YouTube, you can stream at 1080. If you're streaming on Twitch, you do not wanna surpass this 936 number right here. I have a video that I made last week about it. Check it out right here is the link in the description as well. 936 is not going to be in the Dropbox. You guys have to manually put it in if you're gonna be using that. And then you could set your sharpening to the Lansos 36. Make sure that your common FPS value is set at 60 frames per second. You guys, this is the standard these days for streaming. No one streams in 30 frames per second anymore. Once you're done, go ahead and click apply, then click OK. Now that the settings are put in properly, we can set up your stream. All right, to get started building your first live scene, we're going to have to add some sources. Go ahead and click the plus sign right here, and we're going to add a display capture. I'm going to name it screen one. Click OK. Now I have three monitors, so it's going to show all three of my displays right here. If you only have one monitor, you're only going to have one option. Now instead of displaying an entire screen, you can also capture a program or a certain game. Click the plus sign and then select Window Capture. I've opened the game Crunker so I could show you guys adding a display this way. I've named my new Window Capture Crunker. Click OK. And then in this drop down where it says window, you will find the program that you have running. There it is right there. Click Crunker, click OK. 
Now it's displaying my game crunker in the background. Now I've just showed you two ways to share your images with people, either sharing your full screen or by sharing your game, okay? I've got both of them right here. As you can see, these eyeballs right here represent if you could see it or not. So if I click both of those, you now cannot see them. If I only wanna share my full screen, I could click that. If I only wanna share just the game, then I could do that. And these locks over here will let me know if I'm able to move the image around or not. So right now these images are locked into place. I'm not able to move them. If I ever needed to adjust this one, I could just unlock it, then go back and adjust the size of it later on. Now, if you want to add a camera to your live scene, go ahead and click the plus sign and then go to video capture device. I'm going to name mine camera one. In the device drop down box, go ahead and find your camera and select it. Once you've selected your camera, go ahead and click OK. Now you could drag the boxes of your camera in order to shrink it down and you could click and drag it in order to move it wherever you want on the screen. OK, once you're done moving it around, you can go ahead and lock it into place so you don't accidentally move it at another time. Your live scene is now ready to go. At this point, you can add more filters to your microphone. I made a video on this a couple weeks ago. If you guys wanna make your microphone sound professional so you sound better to your live streamers or in your recordings, definitely check out that video right here. I will also have the link in the description below. Well, that's it, you guys. It's as easy as that to set up your OBS studio for your very first live stream. If this video helped you out at all, don't forget to leave a comment, smash the like button, and subscribe to the channel. We'll see y'all next time. And remember, don't be toxic, spread positivity.